<laughs> Today I'm going to show you guys how to create and shape eyebrows in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com seven days a week where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. Today we got a really cool episode and it's brought to you by, uh, we had a question recently. Someone said, um, I need to learn how to like shape and fill in eyebrows in Photoshop. And I was like, well, that seems kind of weird. But then I started like researching, like all, I was going online and looking at like before and after images of like, you know, people who had like their eyebrows plucked and like they, they tint them and you know, the, the beauty industry is huge in this. Like there, you can spend $500 just on makeup for your eyebrow products and things like that. And I started to realize like, what a huge difference they actually do make. And I, I hadn't really thought about it before, but eyebrows are a really big part of the face. Like having a really nicely filled in brow with a nice shape on it can make a huge, huge difference in the appearance of uh, basically anyone, but mostly in women with the like nice shape and everything. So today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to create a custom brush that's gonna actually be like an individual hair. I'm gonna show you how to make like the hair. So it's not gonna look like fake. It's not gonna look like we just grabbed a, you know, regular like, it's not gonna be like fuzzy. It's gonna look like individual hairs on the eyebrow. And then I'm gonna show you how you can use the same exact brush on eyelashes too. So if you ever photograph someone, maybe their eyebrows just aren't filled in or it's a little bit whacked or they look like they need to pluck, <laughs> a plucking, a plucking on the brow, uh, something like that. You can use these techniques and it's gonna make those images look flawless. So here's our image for today. It was submitted by Trond and this is like a perfect example of a place where we could actually make these eyebrows. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually zoom in here and we're gonna start off by making a custom brush. And this is, it's gonna get a little bit complicated, but don't worry, if you guys don't follow all of this, like actually making a brush technique, we're making this brush available on flurn.com. So you can just use our brush that we're making in this episode. This is gonna be so cool. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna use my pen tool really quick. And what I'm gonna do is basically make the shape of a hair. This isn't gonna take a long time. I'm just gonna click on one side and then about like the length of the hair, I'm gonna click right over here and then drag so it's got a little bit of a curve into it. So you can see my shape has got a little curve. I'll just zoom in so you can see it right there. Okay, now we have our brush tool. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and choose a size that's about the same size as a hair. Just to make sure that it, you know, it looks good, let's just grab the brush tool and I'll sample a color. All right, and we'll just paint it in there. All right, because you want this to be about the same size as one of the hairs. All right, and that actually looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and delete that layer. So we've still got our pen path, right? We've got our brush, everything looks good. On a new layer, what we're gonna do is, this is so cool because we're actually using a tip within the pen tool that's gonna allow you to make the ends smaller of the actual like brush stroke and the middle of it's gonna be thicker. So you don't need a pen tablet to be able to create a perfect hair that actually gets smaller and pointier towards the ends. So we're gonna click on paths right now. So we've got our work path. I'm gonna right click here and we're gonna say stroke path, okay? So we're gonna stroke this path using the brush that we just chose. That's why we had to choose the size that's about the same size as a hair. And I wanna click on this simulate pressure and that's gonna make sure that both of the ends get smaller. Okay, so we've got our brush, a simulate pressure. We're gonna hit okay. And there we go. So on this new layer, let's just click off our path here real quick. On this new layer, basically we have this, right? This is what it created and it's just one singular hair. And you can see it does like, it gets small towards both of the ends. So that is what we created. Now it seems like a lot to get through that, but it's just a really nice, perfect arch that gets smaller on both ends, right? Looks like a hair. You can hit Command T, let's just stretch it out a little bit more. There we go, looks like a hair. See, if I put it over there, you're like, oh, there's another hair in her eyebrow. So what we're gonna do with this hair now, I'm gonna show you how to make it into a custom brush. And then once that's done, you won't have to like go and like copy and paste and do a bunch of these. You can actually use a custom, you can use the brush to fill it in. So with this, I'm gonna right click on this custom, on this layer with the hair, right? We're gonna right click here and I'm gonna say duplicate layer to a new document. Okay, now the new document is gonna take basically the size from the old document, which I don't need. So I'm gonna crop this. So I'm gonna hit com command, <laughs> command. I'm gonna hit command or control and then click on this thumbnail, which is gonna make this into a selection. You can see the eyebrow or the one hair right there. 
Now we're going to go to edit and then down to crop. Sorry, image and then down to crop. Okay, now you can see it's cropped just to the eyebrow. So again, if you guys don't want to go through all this, we're going to provide the brush at flurn.com. But if you do want to create custom brushes, this is like gold for you. Okay, so now we've got this cropped in. I'm going to go to edit and then define brush preset. Okay, and we're going to call this brow hair one. And you can see it's 42 pixels in length there, and that's a preview of the actual brush. So we're going to hit OK. Okay, let's go ahead back to our other document. And now if I grab the brush tool and I scroll all the way down to my very last brush by right clicking, that's all you have to do is right click. I forgot to say that. Now you can see I'm creating a bunch of those little brows, right? Each time I click, it's basically making the exact same thing. Okay. But it's still not perfect yet, right? It's not that useful. Let's just hit Command-A and then hit Delete to delete whatever's on that layer. Still not super useful. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make this brush actually usable. We're going to click on our brush window. OK, you can also go to Window and then down here to Brush to get to that. We're going to click on our Shape Dynamics, and I want to turn our size jitter up. So some of these are going to be smaller. Some of them are going to be larger. We're going to turn our angle jitter on to 1%, and I'm going to turn the control on to Direction. So what this is going to do is it's now, every time I change the direction of my brush stroke, you can see the direction of these hairs is going to come with it. Pretty cool. Let's bring our spacing up just a little bit. So now we can see what we're actually getting. There we go. Looks like I'm painting with these hairs, right? All right. Really cool. We can turn scattering on. Let's just turn up just a little bit. There we go. All right. Scattering. We'll do really, really small. There we go. Now, all right, we're almost there, guys. So I'm basically painting in these. I'm going to turn on transfer. So if I press a little bit softer, it's not going to make my brow, like it's not going to make, um, there we go. Flow jitter here is on pen pressure. Let's bring that minimum up, up, up a little bit. So if I don't press hard with my pressure sensitive tablet, it makes, uh, it makes the actual hair less visible. OK, so that's basically flow. There we go. OK, so oh, we're almost ready to like paint this on here, right? But you can see these are upside down, right? Like the little hairs, they're upside down. That's not how we want them. So we're going to go back to brush tip shape. And here's where we can actually do things like I can flip the X of this. And now they're going to be going up instead of down, right? And I can change the angle as well. So as I change my angle, you can see here, like if I wanted to change the angle and have these all stand up, I can do that. And they're still going to, look at this, they're still going to go with the direction of my per cursor, right? Because that's, I chose that in my brush settings, right? There we go. Let's just change our angle again there. All right, so you want to continue to change your angle, all right, until it actually starts to look like, there we go, until it actually starts to look like the shape that you want. All right. There we go. That's looking pretty good. OK, so now, as you see, as I go down like this, it looks like I'm creating an eyebrow on her face right now. Pretty cool. So as I change the angle of my cursor, so the hair changes with it. Very, very cool. All right, so now that we know that we like this brush, I'm going to write I'm just going to click over here. We're going to click on New Brush Preset, and we're going to call this Brow Hair. Final. OK, so all that work. But now what I can do is I can really just start to paint in a brow. So we want to fi fill it in. So what I'm going to start to do is paint from the right side over to the left here. And we want to get a nice arch for our subject here. OK, so we're going to go ahead and paint it in, and we're going to fill in a nice arch. There we go. And we're going to come on right down there. Just a quick little tip. If you guys are, let's just choose like a, a green color. If you guys are wondering, like, how do I create this brow? What should I look like? Look at the edge of the nose here. If you make a line between the edge of the nose and like the middle of the eye right here, that's about where the brow should start. From the edge of the nose to the outer edge of the eye, if you make a line right there, that's about where your brow should actually come to a point. And from the edge of the nose to the outside of the eye, that's where about the brow should end. So I looked all this up so I can teach you that stuff. But I'm just doing it pretty rough right now. All right, this is looking great. So let's go ahead and grab our color here. And we're going to fill that in. And again, my favorite part about this is 
that they look like each indi excuse me, they look like individual hairs because pretty much they are. Okay? Let's create another layer on top of this, and I'm just gonna draw a slightly darker color here, and we'll change our layer mode to multiply. And this will just bring in some like, you know, okay, cool. Now we got some dark ones. All right, looking good. So we've got a brow on our subject now. We can lower the opacity of that just a little bit. So now what we want to do is go ahead and clean up any like stray areas. So let's go ahead and group those layers. We've got our brow brush, and the brow that we actually made for looks great. We're going to make a new layer, and here you can use either the clone stamp tool or the regular brush tool again. We're going to start off with the clone stamp tool. All right, so S for the clone stamp tool, and then we're going to use a standard brush with a little bit of soft edge. And then I'm just going to clone stamp from the outside in just a little bit, okay? So I'm sampling from the outside of the brow, and we're just painting in. All right, looking good. And you can also switch to the brush tool. So if I'm gonna go back to my brush tool, I'm gonna go to a regular brush now. Let's just zoom out a little bit now. And then I can just choose some of these samples because sometimes you don't wanna use the clone stamp tool. Sometimes it's just like you can't get the right color and things like that. So it's better to use the brush tool and then hold Alt or Option and then sample the hair or sample the skin or wherever you're painting. All right, and let's put a nice clean edge on that brow there. Very nice, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in real quick. So all this cleanup is basically just gonna make the brow look a little bit more defined, and there we go. It's gonna make it look like it was, uh, you know, like plucked or whatever. But I love this custom brush that we made because it actually really does, I mean, it it's basically does paint in each individual hair, so it really does look like, you know, the, the actual brow. All right, and let's go ahead and feather that in a little bit more. Very nice. And this is just with the brush tool. So you can see with the brush tool, we're just kind of like cleaning that up a little bit. All right, and if there's any other areas that need to be filled in a little bit, just grab your brush tool and grab this like brow brush. And I'm just gonna grab the color and with a very slight flow, just kind of paint around the edges. And it's just gonna help it give a little bit more of a shape there. All right, there we go. Let's get a little bit more of a fine point when it comes to our edge there. Very nice. Okay, and that is our brow. Let's go ahead and group those two layers together. So we can see there's the before and the after with the brow. And you can see what a huge, huge difference that makes. And if you wanna bring the brow like a little bit, maybe it could go to the right a little bit more. Again, I'm not like a brow expert here. So it, it's gonna take probably a couple of times for this to like actually come out exactly like how you want, just because, you know, we are, I'm not like a cosmetologist or anything like that, but, um, for the most part, there we go. That looks really good. All right, and I'm just gonna grab my eraser and erase out part of it. The other thing, you could just totally erase your brow altogether and then just paint a new one in. All right, that looks really nice. So basically we've taken that brow and turned it into that. And it, the thing that I, I love about this, like it totally looks real, right? Like those look like individual hairs. So that's the start, guys, the brow. Now, the other cool thing with this brush, while we're in it, I'm gonna grab my brush tool again. We're gonna choose this same brush, okay? We're gonna choose the same brush, and instead now of going in this direction, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into our brush tool again, and I'm just gonna change the direction of this brush, okay? Let's go ahead and flip the Y jitter as well. All right, and then basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this to create eyebrows. Okay, so let's change the layer to multiply. And basically I'm just gonna go paint in here. So just by changing the direction of our, you can see just by changing the direction, beautiful, of the brush itself, instead of going, you know, 
going with the direction. I'll show you an example here. So this is like what you would do with eyelashes. And then this is just changing the angle and that's like more applicable for eyebrows. All right, really, really, really cool. And I'll save this one out for you guys as well so you can change this for eyelashes. Just remember, if the eyebrows, eyelashes are going that way, it's gonna, these are gonna kind of go that way. You can hit this flip Y and then they're gonna be going the other way too. So if like you wanted to do the other, other, eye, other eye, I don't know what I'm saying. You could just hit that flip Y and that would totally work. All right, let's erase these away and you are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and save this out too. So new brush preset. All right, and we're gonna call this eyelash. So same brush and you can use this for eyelashes and eyebrows. All right guys, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Let's go ahead and look at the full screen. This is our before and our after. And it didn't take too long. Most of the time it was actually taken making the custom brush, but you guys can download that right on flurn.com. We're gonna put a link, um, I think on the screen right here and then we'll put one right down below as well. Right on. If you guys wanna keep up with Flurn, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we release new videos teaching Photoshop and photography for free every single week. And if you leave a comment right down below saying like, oh, Aaron, I wanna learn how to do this and this with this image, um, that's where we actually get the ideas for our episodes. Like this was someone suggested, I wanna learn how to do eyebrows and now you guys all learned that for free. So if you do have an idea of something you'd wanna learn, just leave it in a comment right down below and we'll get to it and then you can have your idea right here on flurn.com. And if you say really, really nice, we'll even mention your name and then you'll have a million friends and everyone will love you. Thanks so much guys. And if you know any other photographers or people you think could benefit from this, be sure to share Flurn with them so we can grow as a community. Thanks again and I'll Flurn you later. Bye everyone. I like that, that was a nice woo. Plucking on the brow. Got a brow that needs plucking. <laughs> Lannister, what's this accent? What's the voice for this accent? Irish. Colin, Colin, we got the brow that needs plucking. <laughs> All right.